Okay, here's a clock we're going to do for Jerry. It's uh, an eight day. Uh, definitely got some bellows that need repaired. Eight day movement. It says uh, it's a regular movement. It says uh, pulled by Bachmeyer and Clemmer. Bavaria, I believe, and inside the box that it was in, a little, uh, says Ed Mueller, Mueller Souvenirs, Lucerne, Switzerland, this cuckoo clock reference, and I have no idea what that is. It's like B umlaut, U umlaut, MT, 320. Cuckoo clock, guaranteed for five years. Date, August 17th, 1983. And then signed by whoever from this company. So we'll have to look the company up and see what that's all about. Definitely needs cleaned. Uh, we'll take it apart and we will see what needs to be done with it. Take my hands off. Something looks like maybe mice have been in here chewing on this one. That's uh, all mangled up.
movements pretty dirty looking at and yeah this rack is so stiff it doesn't drop um, looking at that second wheel let's see let's see that's usually the one that wears the most let's see what that looks like Yeah, and it's even flopping, even when there's still dirt in the pivot when that's clean, that's going to be flopping around. The second wheel on the strike side. That doesn't look too bad. Just a lot of really, really dirty. We'll have to... Uh, really mess with this stuff. Uh, let's see what this looks like up here. Yeah, the escape wheel is moving quite a bit. It looks like we'll have a number of bushings to do. Yeah. Yeah, quite a few to do. Uh, it looks like somebody really was messing. Here, look at how mangled that is. Somebody was bending that back and forth, trying to change the depth of the pallets in the gear. So we'll clean it first, then put gears back in, and, or wheels back in it. See how many pivots we got worn. Meantime, why? There's what it looks like now. Pretty dirty. And we'll see what it looks like. Uh, after we're done cleaning. Okay, we'll begin taking this apart. And uh, the first things we can do is take off the hammer and uh, such. I'll take a look here and see uh, where the spring is attached for the hammer. And that's right here through that little hole and it wraps around itself. So we will take that spring out like so. Maybe. And then to take this off we just rotate this around until those pins line up with that slot and take it right out. Same with the lifts. The short one comes first, then the long one, and then we are going, well, let's see if that's, okay, this is screwed in rather than, uh, <coughs> rather than uh, pressed in, so we can take a little bit of cloth, Put it on the jaws of our pliers so we don't tear it up and then just turn it. Loosens it. We can unscrew this. Get it out of the way. Alright. 
I want to take the star wheel off. Take note. Here's what the, I keep trying to describe. This is set to its stop position. Notice two of these prongs. If I were to draw a line this way, they are parallel with the edge of the plate. So that's how you want that set back up when you go to put this back together. Now to remove this one, we loosen the set screw. And then this should come right off. Okay. Now the next thing is to start removing you know, all of these uh, front pieces. We're going to take this clip and this e-clip off that washer because that's what holds this on. Uh, this comes out. I've got to take this e-clip out, this e-clip out right now. So we will go here. We will. Oh man, somebody oiled the daylights out of that stuff. Take that e-clip off. Take this washer off. Then if we take this e-clip off of the rack, now we can remove all these pieces. And the rack and the snail will come off together. Wow, that's stuck. That is really stuck. There's part of the problem. So what I need to do is, uh, oh man, these are really jammed. Mm, that's why the clock didn't work. All right. Oh, that's like gum going on there. Oh, and that too. Whew. Look at this. That should turn freely. I mean, I should be able to almost spin that around, and it's just like, oh, like gooey gunk. Woo! Same with this. Uh, this should just flop down. As you can see, it doesn't fall. That should just, look, at, there's the rate at which it falls. Waiting for the rack to fall. That should fall freely. Okay, let me take the middle wheel off. And then there's a spring here on this lever. That comes on down there. Take this around. Take the spring off. Now these two levers come off, but we've got to take off uh, clips on the back, and these are those got off of what are called G-clips that I bought this Knipex uh, remover for that goes in there. We, oh, well, maybe we'll make it work. What's the matter here? Yeah, I put my springers down. See, when you squeeze these, the jaws come open. That decompresses those. Maybe. Oh, I think they're almost glued on there. Yep, these are not going to come off easily. Okay, we'll be back. So much gunk underneath those that they're hard to get off, so put them down. Press this down so it doesn't slip out. Man, those are really stuck. Okay, I got it. All right, that allows these levers to come out. And then uh, the next thing to do, we won't take the bird perch out because those are in these pinch clips. Don't like them. If you remember the last video I put up here, you'll recall that uh, 
they had put in a replacement movement and this one is at least set up correctly. Let me show you, it's not, right now it's not doing what it's supposed to. Let me pull that, okay, there we go. There's where this should be, okay. I'm going to uh, see about taking this off, the uh, gathering pallet off. Um, maybe I'll take that off after I separate the plates. So I'm going to separate these plates by taking these nuts off. Okay. as we take this plate off and move this around this way a little bit. Maybe that'll make it a little easier to see. Okay, I take this plate off and here is the crutch. And now you can see the arrangement. This, of course, fell out of. Oh, let me put it back in. Okay, there's the arrangement of the gears. And the two, the two uh, wheel trains. Let me get this light on too. Okay, and you can see there are one, two, three four wheels here in the time chain. So that indicates an eight-day clock. If this were a one-day clock, it would just be three gears, okay, or three three wheels. And then these are the wheels in the the strike train or cuckoo train. So we will take these off. Now one of the, uh, yeah, well, we'll take them out those over here in the tray we'll put the put the uh, time train on one side or the strike side over on one side well that this one won't come off because it has the uh, gathering pallet on it okay and then we'll put the the uh, run side or time side Second, third, and the steep wheel, main. Now we have this little guy that keeps the door closed. And we have this little guy that holds the, the door open. And we need to take a e-clip off of that one and that just flew almost clear across my desk. Okay, and that will come out. And then here's the idler gear here. And there. And now all we get, we are not going to take the center wheel out because that requires a puller and that messes up the positions of the uh, these things. So we need to take that uh, gathering pallet off. Probably okay. We'll slip this under here. And we'll there we go. And all the parts are now including the plate are in the ultrasonic cleaner. I'm gonna put them in there for 25 minutes. And 
When I was taking this apart, I noticed, and I noted, how this has been mangled. Somebody was trying to change the depth <clears throat> of the pallets by messing with this tab, and they really mangled it. And it does, there is a problem. I'm going to put some pressure on the main wheel, try rocking this. Okay, we have a tooth on the entrance pallet, and it's just Entrance, exit, entrance, exit. Some of these is catching. It just barely missed it. It's, I think what's got to happen is we've got to have uh, we've got to change the, the pallets themselves, so I have to mess with this. Look at it a while. Woo! Just barely. Okay, we'll have to mess with this. Okay, <coughs> inspecting the escape wheel. You look at these teeth. Get closer. Nope, that's close I can get there. Right there. Let's see, I need a pointer. If we look at a tooth like this one, it looks nice and clean. And you see get to one like this. It looks like there's some little burr. Yeah, there's a burr on that one. A burr on this one. You can see that. See this little curl right here. <laughs> this one's got a burr. We examine all these teeth. Uh, there's another little tiny bird there. And we'll see that some of them definitely need to be cleaned up. Hey, here's one that's got a curled top. You can see the very top edge. Look at some of those are curled. Quite a few of them, actually. Uh, I don't know what was going on with these things, but I gotta clean up a few of those. There, look at that one. Yeah, that one's got a pretty good burr on it. That could cause some failures along the way, so we'll clean those up too. Okay. See how it's working now. There we go. There we go. We move it very slowly, see what we got for entrance and what the drops are. Drops are pretty close to the same, and it's clearing, so that's all that, all that matters. Alright, I got that adjusted. I got it back where it should have been, so I think we'll, we'll have it running now.
Okay. Put we put three bushings on the well, we put one on the escape wheel. And then on the other side we put one on uh, that little gear that's in there right next to that post. And we put one on the second wheel, I think. Uh, yeah, right there. Put one on the second wheel. So we've got a total of three bushings on the run side. Okay, now we've got the cuckoo side in. And we need to take a look at Yeah, the second, second wheel where the star wheel goes on, that's got to be replaced. Next wheel. second wheel on this side. So we'll do those bushings. Okay, here's another way to see something needs uh, rebushed. Look at that tips over so far it hits the should be no more than about five degrees. So that's a lot of movement. But we're going to rebush this one. And uh, what I need to do that after rebushing, there's the difference. As it should be. Okay, and now we have <coughs> bushings on both sides. We put the piece back in. It spins very freely. It has a end shake. set to go. And now before we start putting things back together, we got to go through and clean every hole. I can see. polishing just make sure we get any and all dirt might be left or corrosion okay here are all the parts <coughs> cleaned polished and all rust removed and Pinion gears, everything all cleaned up, ready to go back to get the wheels back in place. Always got to put the back plate on, and uh, we'll be back together. Okay, we got those back together. Let's see if it works. Should be okay. 
Okay, we gotta put this spring back on. put that on and have it pretty much in agreement to make sure that that's its stop. And when you put this on, two of these things here, if you make a, make a line this way, that should be parallel to the edge of the, edge of the plate. Oh. 